you know, what would we do uh, if you detected uh, even a small one, uh, like the one that uh, detonated in, in, in Russia, um, headed for New York City in three weeks? What would we do? And bend over and what? No, I, I, Congressman, I, you know, that is, um, I don't, again, I have to go back to what I said before. These are, th these are very rare events. Uh, from the information that we have on, um, on asteroids that we've discovered of all sizes, we don't know of one that, that will threaten a, the population of the United States, you know, in three weeks. Um, and we are trying very diligently, as I said before, with the President's budget to put ourselves in a position where we advance the technology such that Three weeks will not be something that causes us to panic because we will be able to respond. We are where we are today because, you know, you all told us to do something and, and, it, and between the administration and the Congress, the funding to do that did not, the bottom line is always the funding did not come. And, and, and I don't care whose fault it is or, or if it's anybody's fault. We all know what we're facing today and we're all sitting here today as the Congress and the administration try to figure out sequestration, something that never should have happened, nobody planned to happen, but we're facing it today. And so the answer to you is if it's coming in three weeks, uh, pray. If that, uh, things have happened, you, you gotta pray. The, 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 the upside, I guess, is, is that there's more public awareness now of the importance of space to the survival of our species, and it's not at some unknown point in the far distant future that we can't imagine. Uh, you sir, know? And sir, if I, if I may, you, you say something that is so important. It would be very easy for this Congress and for the administration to say, okay, because we get the question all the time, why are we worried about exploring beyond low Earth orbit? Can't we just put that off for five or 10 years? The reason that I can't do anything in the next three weeks is because for decades we have put it off for the next five or ten years. Then we have to get together, that side and that side, and decide how we're going to execute that plan as expeditiously as possible. That's, that's all I can tell you. Thank you. Parece el guión de un gran éxito de Hollywood. Un asteroide mortal en rumbo de colisión con la Tierra. Pero existe en la realidad una apocalíptica roca gigante que amenaza con destruir la civilización. La pregunta no es si va a ocurrir, sino cuándo ocurrirá. Proviene de algún lugar del cinturón de asteroides situado entre Marte y Júpiter. Es un inmenso grupo de rocas y escombros en rotación y avanza hacia la Tierra. Este gigantesco asteroide cruza a toda velocidad la atmósfera de la Tierra y se convierte en una fuerza imparable. Es casi dos millones de veces más potente que la bomba emperador soviética. El mayor y más potente artefacto explosivo jamás detonado. Su objetivo, Los Ángeles. Lo último que ven sus habitantes es un destello una bola de fuego y después si este asteroide fuese tan grande como cabe imaginar un asteroide de 10 kilómetros estaríamos hablando de un cráter casi 10 veces mayor formaría un cráter de unos 80 kilómetros Toda la ciudad de Los Ángeles quedaría reducida a un inmenso cráter. Estaríamos hablando de una devastación absoluta. Nada sobreviviría en un radio de unos 160 kilómetros. Incluso en San Diego sufrirían enormes terremotos y ondas expansivas. Los vientos lo arrasarían todo en 300 kilómetros a la redonda. Ningún ser vivo sobreviviría en un radio de unos 1.600 kilómetros. Y eso solo tras el impacto inmediato. A continuación volvería a caer sobre el planeta una gran cantidad de restos. Sería como ver un árbol de Navidad con muchos adornos saliendo despedidos en todas las direcciones. Y después se verían enormes incendios. Arderían enormes zonas del planeta que liberarían aún más hollín y ceniza en el aire que ocultarían la luz del sol. 
Después las temperaturas caerían en picado y tal vez se extinguiría toda forma de vida.